We have a lot of clients that come in with the, the plan of finishing their design and then using soft tooling to produce their crowdfunding units that they're going to deliver to their, their customers. Yeah. Um, soft tooling can also be used as a type of prototyping. Yeah. So what are the risks of that and what do you suggest? Do you suggest doing soft tooling? So soft tooling, for those of you who don't understand, is um, hard tooling is typically cutting stainless steel or aluminum. Um, you can cut it to injection mold. Soft tooling is a method of uh, you would CNC or 3D print your part. You'd finish it so it looks like uh, as smoothly finished or whatever texture you want on that. They would then cut a, uh, pour urethane over the top of that, cut it open, pull that part out, and then you can use that to inject plastic back in. So the limitations with urethane tooling, um, it is way cheaper to doing than it is, um, say, for cutting hard tools. The advantage is um, you can test your product first. Um, the disadvantage is you really only get about 10 to 15 pieces out of that urethane tool before that urethane tool starts to degrade. Depending on your product, depending on the complexity of it, sometimes you can't get, get, even get as many as that. Um, so it is a low-cost way. Um, but it's not always the most accurate way. Sometimes, especially nowadays, with the ability of going directly to China, um, you got you wait got to weigh that out with with the cost of doing some soft tooling. Sometimes it's just as just as uh, efficient to go straight to hard tooling. A lot of times, also depends on the size of your product too.